Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us this afternoon, and welcome to this DevX Career Webinar on Careers in Global Health. I'm Kate Warren, Director of Global Recruitment Services at DevX, and I'll be your moderator today. So over the last several months, I've been fielding questions through our DevX Career Matters blog from young professionals trying to break into international development, as well as more senior level professionals who may be interested in transitioning fields. And Oftentimes, advice can change depending on the specific sector you're trying to break into. So, For example, many recent graduates as well as professionals who are interested in transitioning into global health want to know what are the opportunities available and what are the strategies for breaking into this sector in particular. So today we're excited to have Alana Sheikh, who is a global health professional working with App Associates and currently based in Baku, Azerbaijan. And she's managed projects all over the world on health, livelihoods, education, and emergency relief. Her technical specialties include health system strengthening, service integration, and behavior. And for any of you familiar with her blogs, you know Alana is also a wealth of information not only on this sector, but on launching a career in global health. So it's always great career advice. Uh, Alana has prepared some key tips that you can apply to boost your job search and give you a sense of what it's really like to work in the field of global health. And uh, again, I always enjoy reading her career advice, so I'm really happy we're able to have her share some of that wisdom with you today. Uh, so we will start out with uh, a presentation by Alana, and then when we conclude, we'll be able to take some questions from the audience. So Alana, I'll pass it over to you. I am really happy that you asked me to speak today because I absolutely love working in global health, and I love getting other people involved. And I'm sort of very pleased to have the chance to talk about what it's like to work in global health and what it's like trying to start a career in global health. So what I'm going to talk about sort of falls into four sections. I'll talk a little bit about me and how I started my career and where I am now so that everyone has a sense of where I'm coming from and why you should either listen to me or completely ignore my advice. I'll talk a little bit about my experiences working in global health, things that I've noticed about this field that I think make it unique or at least very interesting. My experience is job hunting in global health. And then since the job hunting bit is a little bit tough because this is a hard field to get started in, I'll finish with kind of a happy bit at the end about why I love global health and why I think it's worth going through everything you have to go through to get started. So about me. I've been working in global health since 1998 when I started graduate school. I have a master's degree in public health, an MPH, with an international health concentration from Boston University, which was a great program. It was incredibly good practical preparation for a global health career, and I would recommend it to absolutely anybody. I've spent most of my career overseas. In 2000, I moved to Uzbekistan, and I have been outside the US for the bulk of my career since then. I've worked for a wide range of different employers. I worked briefly for the US State Department. I've worked for UN agencies. I've worked for NGOs and for private sector companies that are USAID contractors. And I think that as global health professionals go, if you leave my blog out of it, I've had a pretty ordinary career, which I think means I'm a good p person to tell you about your typical global health career. Right now, I'm working for a USAID-funded health project in Azerbaijan. I'm the strategic information director, which is a really fun job. It's sort of an interesting combination of monitoring and evaluation and developing informational products and advocacy work and support for decision making for the Ministry of Health of Azerbaijan. I've been in Baku since last September and I'll be here through this September. After that I'll be off on my next adventure. And our project works on supporting the health system in Azerbaijan, helping to increase the capacity of the Ministry of Health to make good choices about health in Azerbaijan about building provider capacity to give better health care, and about empowering communities to understand and make good decisions about their own health. So sort of a, a very classic, comprehensive global health project, and I love it. 